Revelation 1. Revelation 1. And we are going to pick it up at verse 5. Because he did all of that to give us a chance to become what he is. See, he gave up being the almighty God for a time to become flesh and blood so he can be a sacrifice for us. But Revelation 1 and verse 5, and this is it. Go ahead. And from Jesus Christ, who is the faithful witness mm -hmm. and the first begotten of the dead. See, he's the first. He's the first. Remember, you know, when you die, that really is death. But the good thing that the Lord got is the resurrection. And Jesus, the first begotten of the dead. See, he's the first man to come out the grave and live forever. He can't die no more. He can't die no more. He conquered death so we can conquer death because we all got death coming because of sin, right? We all got death coming. You ain't seen nobody skate through that. 150 years ago, it was a whole crop of people, another crop of people on this earth. None of us wasn't here, but they all gone now, right? Because yep. what happened to them? We know what happened to them, don't we? They died. And if we don't live, if the Lord don't come soon, we all going to be gone, right? Yep. Because death reaching us all, isn't it? And death wasn't meant to be pretty. It was punishment for sin. But the good news is Jesus paved the way out of death if we take heed. He paved the way out. So he said, look, that's what it said here. He's the first begotten of what? Of the, the dead. dead. See, that's, that's, what, that's when you can really say, I'm born again. I was born once, but unfortunately I had to die. I didn't want to. No too many people stand in line to die. But... When you come out the grave, you can say, I'm born again now. And it won't be this flesh and blood body, because this body is, leads to death. But now, he said he's the first begotten of the dead. And what else? And the prince of the kings of the earth. And what else? Unto him that loved us and washed us from our sins in his own blood. See, that's what he did. He had to do it. Verse 6. And hath made us kings and priests unto God and his father. Uh -huh. To him be glory and dominion forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Verse 7. Behold, he cometh with clouds. Now he coming back and he coming with clouds. Go ahead. And every eye shall see him. Everybody going to see this guy. Go ahead. And they also which pierced him. Oh, he, he going to wake the ones up that pierce him. He, he going to get some vengeance on them. Oh, yeah. That's going to be a rough day, isn't it? Ooh. You didn't did him in. That's why he don't have no problem letting you know vengeance is his. That's why we ain't got to worry about paying nobody back. He can handle it. He's going to handle it at this time. So he said, they shall look upon, they shall see, every eye shall see him, and they also which pierced him. Go ahead. And all kindreds of the earth shall wail because of him. Uh -huh. Even so, amen. Oh, it's going to be some mourning like for a firstborn, but it's going to be some mourning because he's coming back hurting people. But it's going to be just like when they pierced him. It's going to be payback. But this is him. Go ahead, verse 8. I am Alpha and Omega, uh -huh. the beginning and the end. See, he's telling you here. He said, I am Alpha and Omega. See, he'd been around. He was the one at the beginning. He was the almighty God at the beginning, and he's going to show up at the end and let you know, here I am. You got to deal with me. This ain't the Father talking. That's why it's in red, isn't it? Mm -hmm. He said, I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. What else is he? saith the Lord, uh -huh. which is and which was and which is to come, the Almighty. The Almighty, right? So, you know, just because one place say mighty, that don't mean he's not Almighty, do it? Because it right. called him that right here. Now, we know this not talking about the Father because it said which was, because Jesus is the one that came and died, and he is the one coming back, right? That's right. And who is he? The Almighty. I hope you got some understanding in Jesus' name. 